My daughter Brianna was somewhat of a timid girl and she would do things like be really afraid to go out in the backyard or go to a friend's house and she'd always be like, can I go walk the dog or can I go in the backyard? And I'd be like, I don't care, do whatever. And sometimes, you know, she would just ask too many kind of dumb questions. Well, there's a part in the class that I teach and it's about common statements that we make that can discourage kids or can cause them to misbehave or can not quite get the result that we want. And one of those is, I don't care. And the underlying message is, I don't really care about what you do and you're not important. And so they often don't do so good. So the alternative to that is a statement that I, I began to use on her. So she would ask me some dumb question like, can I go in the backyard? And I'd be like, use your judgment. And sometimes I'd say, use your judgment and let me know what you decide. And she'd be like, okay, I think I'll go. Or, you know, mom, can I walk the dog? Use your judgment. What do you think? And let me know what you decide. And she'd be like, okay, I think I'm gonna walk the dog. Great, go ahead. So we were doing this. I was doing this for a while and kind of getting her more confident and she was, she got to the point where I would, she would ask me some dumb question and before I could even open my mouth, she'd go, I know, use my judgment. And I'm like, yeah, use your judgment, good idea. And she would figure it out. And then came the test. So sometimes when you do new things, your kids are gonna test you. So the test came one night, it was about half an hour before dinner, and she came out and she said, mom, can I have some ice cream? And I knew it was the test in that moment. I just, I just knew. And I made this like split second decision and it could have gone either way, but I made the split second deci decision to keep going with what I was, what I was trying to, to teach her. And so as soon as she said that, mom, can I have some ice cream? I said, use your judgment you decide and let me know what you decide. So she thought about it for a second and she goes, well, I guess if I eat ice cream now, I probably won't want to eat my dinner. So I think I'll wait. <sighs> I was just like, yes. And I knew from that moment that this kid could use her judgment. She made good choices. She made good decisions. She might have been about, I don't know, 11 or 12 at the time. And that took me through high school with her, knowing that she could use her good judgment and she could make good decisions. Now, I always like to share, if this was my other daughter, Michelle, who's more like me and has a terrible sweet tooth, probably in that moment of making that split second decision of whether I was gonna do this or not, I wouldn't have done it. Because with that kid, if you say use your judgment, she's going for the ice cream. There's no chance that it's gonna work to create or cause her to think or to make a better decision. And I'm the same way. I wouldn't have learned anything that way either. So with Michelle, I found other situations that I could teach her to use her judgment on different things because the, the food sugar thing just wouldn't have worked. It just happened that with Brianna, it was an appropriate risk to take. And a lot of times that's what we do with parenting. You know, we take these intuitive risks and sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. And in that moment when I made that decision, you know, it, it passed my mind like, what happens if she says, okay, I'm gonna eat ice cream. And in that moment, I was okay with that. It was like, okay, I'm gonna take this risk it could utterly fail and fall in its face and she'll eat ice cream and I'm not going to worry about that because I was willing to take the risk and get the, the uh, outcome that I got. So I was really happy with that. So again, I hope you enjoyed the story and it gave you some ideas for something that you might be able to use with your kids in the future. And remember, click on the subscribe button below and go to my website, positiveparenting.com and come say hi and have a great day. Happy parenting.